Uh, hello there. Nope, don't want to use that. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Lillian from the Book Coven podcast, and today we're just going to go through all our tarot decks and let you know what uh, drew them to us, what we like about them, what we don't like about them, and where you can get them. So our first deck is uh, the Literary Witches Oracle deck. Uh, this one I actually just got, and I got it on Amazon, so you get, it's very easy to get. You can go on their website too, I believe, to get it. It's by... I'm not going to say her last name right, so I'm not even going to try. Tassia is her first name, and Kathy Horan illustrated it. There you go. Get up in there. You can get on Instagram. <laughs> so first of all, it's a cute little box. You get the little, a really thin book here. This little tab, handy dandy tab to pull the cards out. So this one's a little different than your typical oracle deck because it has 70 cards. So you have the cards for the authors and the cards for um, witch objects. Like here you can have the knife here. And then here's an author card. And I'll just spread some of these out so you can see. The artwork is very beautiful. And I was drawn to this deck because... They're women in literature. This is a book review podcast. I've always loved reading. And some of these women, they were said to be witches or shamans. It's very diverse. Also, you have women from all different countries. Some people that I didn't, I've never heard of before. Like, I've heard of her. I'll find one I haven't heard of. <laughs> Keep going. I've heard of Mary Shelley. <laughs> Keep it going. You get some wildflowers, that's nice. Okay, I have not heard of, see? Never heard of her. And the book here, you'll give you uh, little write-ups on each of the women. The time period, it'll give you like a little, this one says lineage of the past, deep time. So you just connect the cards to the authors and like their witch items. And it's, it's super easy if you're not that familiar with tarot to interpret the cards and as like a deck you can see here they're big cards it's a pretty good card stock they're pretty sturdy it's a good shuffle which is very important to me because I am terrible at shuffling and they're really it's shiny it's well made love it it's witchcraft it's authors it's everything a gal needs and don't forget, if you're looking for someplace neat to store your tarot cards, oracle cards, you can buy these excellent bags that we have on all our merch shops, Threadless, Redbubble. Super cute. Can fit a few decks in there. And yeah, this has been the Literary Witches Oracle. So have yourself a spicy day. Get out of here. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Get. <laughs> See? Oh, you know what? Let's watch me put it back in. Look at this smooth, smooth back in here. Super cute. Oh, and, um, no. It wasn't this deck. <laughs> okay. It's not just an unboxing.